morning, it's June the 2nd. I'm driving to Death Valley, Badwater Basin, the lowest point in the U.S., 283 feet below sea level. Tonight, sometime around, I don't know, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to start up Mount Whitney and see how far I go. I'm kind of nervous. There's some snow up there. And Get alone time today. It's about 12:24 in the afternoon, and I'm on 127 heading southwest, getting ready to turn onto Badwater Road in about another 12 miles. But I'm at 1266 feet MSL, and I'm going down, down, down. It's incredible uh, how much elevation I crossed. I think it was Salisbury Pass. Around uh, 10 miles back, I was up at 3,200 feet, and the temperature's already climbed from 84 degrees already up to 92. Is the south end of Death Valley. It's day three driving down into Death Valley. The most interesting thing I've noticed is that even up close, the rocks are shimmering. It's incredible. Um, the mirage effect here is unlike I've ever seen before. Uh, it's incredible. Marker 36, I believe. And it's incredible how much green there is uh, down here. 259 feet below sea level. 100 degrees out, but uh, it's incredibly green. It's the lowest point in the United States. 283 feet below sea level. As you can see, it's very hot, very flat. Really cool. I don't remember being here 26 years ago in 1989. Driving down into Furnace Creek. It's amazing. There's a lot of green up ahead. some fruit leather. Uh, the moon is full, it's gorgeous, and the only thing of concern for right now is my left Achilles. When I went out uh, walking the other day, I had short socks, and I have two little abraded areas, probably two inches up from my heel, that kind of painful this morning. Uh, little scabs on them. I didn't realize that they had scabbed up. I just thought it was tender. Anyways, I put some moleskin on it. We'll see how it goes. If it gets bad, I'll just turn around. And it's been an adventure. Anyways. I'm at a little meadow. It's, I don't know, about 3.30, 4 o'clock. Beautiful. You probably can't see the moonlight on that cliff, but it's gorgeous. It's 5.30 in the morning, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm almost to the switchbacks. I've probably got, oh, another 30 minutes before I get up there. That's the chute right there. And the switchbacks are right next to it. I haven't decided which I'm gonna do. The chute sounds kinda of fun. There is the sunrise. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. That's incredible. That's just beautiful. There's the sunrise. Now the hard work starts. I think I had it easy up till now. Oh gosh. Look at that. I'm at the cables on the switchbacks. I still feel pretty good. I had some cramping a little bit earlier, but made sure I got some sodium and amino acids down, which kind of sucks. But it's so quiet. It's just amazing. Camp is way down yonder. And I'm maybe a third of the way up the switchbacks, but I feel good. I just have a little pinch in the back of my neck, which is pretty normal for me at this altitude. So, no nauseousness, uh, not, real, not really any of a headache. Well, I made it through the cables. I had to cr put crampons on and use the ice axe. It was really icy to get through a, I don't know, two, three hundred yard section. I just had the weirdest thing happen. I had a kind of rough looking um, hummingbird just come right in front of my face, literally two, three feet away. It was crazy. There's Mount Whitney, <clears throat> and there's where I have to go to finish the switchbacks. They are fun. Oh, there's Whitney. I think I'm almost done with the switchbacks, almost to the top. The pace has gotten slower because the ice and the altitude had some cramping about 10 minutes ago, and I hit some uh, amino acids and salt, so my legs feel better. I'm just sitting down on a rock resting them. But I can really feel the altitude. I don't have a headache. I don't have a whole time breathing. It's just I gotta keep a slow and steady pace. Steady as the tortoise goes. That's my motto today. Wow. I am at the trail crest and Bruce said, if I make it to the trail crest, I can make it to the top. So, God willing, Jesus willing, I will do that. But it is absolutely breathtaking. Literally and figuratively. It's just incredible. Had some cramping a little bit ago. And feel pretty good now. I sat down, took it easy, drank some water, hit some salt, hit some goo, and I feel great now. I think just the adrenaline of coming up here is just, gosh, mind blowing. Anyways, I can't wait to come up here with you, Kendall, and maybe mommy and Ray Lynn would be awesome. So. Anyways, I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's a little bit after 9 o'clock. It took me three hours to make it up in the snow, just taking it easy and having a great time. So, hopefully, the next time we talk, we'll be at the summit.
tell you how happy I am. That's the top. Thank you, Jesus. I could not have done this without his help, his courage, his strength, and these out of shape legs. That's the top. I can do this. Awesome. Can't, the photos won't do it justice. No. And you know what? It's humbling for me. So I have a, a good friend of mine who came up from right there. Oh, twice. Oh, did the mountaineering route? No. What? The 50, uh, it's one of the 50 classic climbs. It's a 5-4. The mountaineering route's a little bit over that way, oh. but he came the rock wall. Oh, dang. Yeah, somebody else came up the mountain here and wrote today. I met him here. And he and his wife, maybe fiance at the time, got stuck 300 feet from the summit in a storm Jesus. and had to bivy on the side of Mount Whitney. No. Yeah. That's just mind blowing. Yeah. It's 20 after 1, and here's the chute. I am going to slide down the chute 2,000. Water. Oh, made it down from Trail Crest in 50 minutes. Glissading most of the way and then post holing the last, I don't know, 20 minutes. So much better than the switchbacks. Anyways, glad to be down. Daddy's pooped. My shoulder hurts. My knee is twinging a little bit. And I need to stop for a break. It is so much steeper going down. I remember the trail being a lot of flat. And I'm going down and there is precious little flat. 